everyone welcome back once again to the mathematics class in this class i am going to discuss with you the remaining problems of the exercise 6.1 of linear equations in two variables chapter 6 okay of class 9 here in the previous video lesson i have discussed with you the introductory part the concepts of the linear equations in two variables as well as few problems in exercise uh, 6.1 now the remaining problems i'll be continuing in this session and those have not watched the previous video just click on the i card you'll be notified here the third problem first and second bits i have dealt in the previous video session now the third bit i have written here the questions the same thing express the following in two linear equations in two variables okay here the third in the third one the third bit bhargavi got 10 marks more than double the marks of sindhu here given one condition now we have to express them into the form just expressing them into the form of linear equations of two variables now here the condition is that there is bhargavi and there are sindhu they have uh, they discussed about the marks okay now if i suppose sindhu marks as x and bhargavi mark ma marks as y either ways you can suppose let for, let us suppose first the variables let sindhu marks let Sindhu marks be x. Okay. Right. Bhargavi, how much Bhargavi got? Bhargavi got 10 more marks than double the marks of Sindhu. Now, let me suppose Bhargavi marks as Bhargavi marks be. So, let Bhargavi marks be y. Now, the condition, with this condition, we will express the verbal matter into the linear equations of two variables bhargavi got 10 marks more than double the marks of sindhu sindhu marks are x now double the marks of sindhu plus 10 more marks how much that is the bhargavi's marks bhargavi got so bhargavi marks are y she got double the marks of sindhu plus 10 more so this is the final expression of linear equations you can bring them into the general form also 2x minus y plus 10 equal to 0 right now before going to the third one in the second bit right uh, there is a small correction in my previous video i had told that the cost of the ballpoint pens there here we, at last we got uh, minus 10 there okay minus 10 in that equation that should be given the correction is plus 10 do this correction okay this is a correction of the second bit okay third one second bit in a previous video that must not be minus 10 i have written uh, minus 10 but that should be plus 10 okay now here the third one is this and the fourth one let us do the fourth one the cost of a pencil is rupees 2 the cost of a ballpoint pen is rupees 15. Sheila pays 100 rupees for pencils and pens she purchased. Now, how many pencils and how many pens she purchased, we don't know. We only know the cost, cost of the pencil and cost of the pen. So, number of pencils, let number of pencils, not the cost, just the how many number, number of pencils, let that be x. We know the cost, okay and uh, and the number of number of ball pens so b x so b y now i suppose pencils as x and ball point uh, ball pens as y now the condition will see the cost of a pencil one pencil is rupees 2 so so how many pencils x pencils x into 2 is 2x so total pencils cost is 2x and the cost of ballpoint pens is 15 15 so plus 15 y so these many ball pen ball pens and these many pencils cost so these two should be equal to 100 because sheila pays rupees 100 for pencils and pens that we have to write it okay so this is the final answer 2x plus 15y is equal to 100 like this we can express them and this correction of second bit of the third one this is and not not minus 10 okay so make this correction 
if you have if you are observing the previous video please pause the video and note it down now the fifth problem here in the third bit only yamini and fatima of class 9th together contributed rupees contributed rupees 200 towards the prime minister's relief fund so how much each has contributed we don't know but they together collectively contributed the that much amount that is 200 amount to the prime minister's relief fund so let me suppose first let the amount let the amount contributed so these steps in writing the steps in the verbal problems is very important just die directly writing the answer is not important you have to write the steps okay let the amount contributed by first is yamini so let i'll suppose yamini's amount contributed is x okay or bx now and the amount contributed by the amount contributed by the other person Fatima that is amount contributed by Fatima is Y B Y B or is okay here now the collectively they have given for the prime minister's relief fund how much they gave 200 so how much each has given we don't know okay so X plus Y so Yamini's and uh, Fatima's contribution x plus y is equal to 200 simply this is the answer okay just we have to express them we should not find out how much okay here the question is you express them into the linear equations of two variables okay pause the video note it down now, sixth problem the sum of a two digit number and the number obtained by reversing the order of its digits is 121 given if the digits in the units and the tens place are x and y respectively so we have to find the expression of a linear equation in two variables wherein the condition is the sum sum means plus of a two digit number now if you take any two digit number if i suppose a two digit number as 32 let me suppose okay so how do we write the place values if this is this is the tens place this is the ones place that is the units place now how do i write the value of 32 how do i write 3 into 10 plus 2 into ones place this is the value 30 plus 2 so that is 32 this is the place value of 32 how do we write if if it if it is here 3 again uh, 4 is there hundreds place so 4 into 100 i write okay so that is the place values right here a two digit number and the number obtained by reversing the order now and also given units place is x and tens place is y okay given units place that is one's place units place of of two digit number okay is x and tens place tens place of two digit uh, is y this is given okay this we don't want that because just uh, just for you to understand i have explained it for the place values so now how do i write a two digit number the value of that in that means 32 43 like that how do i write in units place means x into 1 plus tens place means y into 10 this is the two digit number so that comes x into 1 x and 10 into y is 10 y so that this is our two digit number and the condition is sum of a two digit number and the number obtained by reversing reversing means tens place goes to units place and units place goes to tens place here our value is like this tens place units place here x no, I kept this as x, okay? Units place as x and this as y, right? See here, units place as x and this. And reversing means this is x, this is y. So, adding them means adding them, right? Now, reversing the number. Reversing number. We get in the units place y. So, y into 1 plus 
x into 10. So that comes to y plus 10x. So these two are, this is the number, this is the reversed number of the two digit number. And adding them value is 121. So sum equal to uh, given x plus this and this, we have to x plus 10y plus y plus 10x. So this is given as, this is given as for us 121, this, this is the two digit number after reversing it, tens place goes to a uh, units place, units place to tens place. The place value is here y plus 10 y. So adding these two numbers, we get 121. So this is the condition. Now here we will add the x, x and the 10 x is 11 x and we will add the y's because like terms, isn't it? 11 y equal to 121. I can take 11 outside 10, 11 I can take common. So we can write x plus y here. If I take 11 to the other side, it becomes divided. So 11 ones, 11, 11 is 121. So the final answer is x plus y is equal to 11. You can bring it inside also x plus y minus 11. So the general form to bring it into the general form. I had brought it into the uh, this side. So this is 11. Okay. This is the linear equation in two variables. This is the condition. Okay. With this we have completed this exercise. Okay. And today I would like to stress that this exercise is completely based on you if you have not watched that video previous video just go and watch that video of the concepts and the introductory part here this is completely based on expressing the linear equation into two variables as well as expressing the linear equation in a general form what is a what is b and what is c so all this all these concepts the uh, exercises based on we will see in our next concept in our next video lesson about the solutions how to find the solutions of the linear equations okay with this i'll end the class we will meet in the next class okay thank you all